Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Luke, an evangelist and a missionary of the Lord. Let us pray in this Mass that St. Luke, we too may proclaim the mercy of God through our words and through our deeds. Let us now beg God's forgiveness for all our sins. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord God, who chose St. Luke to reveal by his preaching and writings the mystery of your love for the world, grant that those who already glory in your name may persevere as one heart and one soul, and that all nations may merit to see your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, Demas, enamored of the present world, deserted me and went to Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, and Titus to Dalmatia. Luke is the only one with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is helpful to me in the ministry. I have sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus in Troas, the papyrus rolls, and especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. You too be on guard against him, for he has strongly resisted our preaching. At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends, your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Please all stand. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 disciples, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs, to every town and place he intended to visit. 
He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, there are two books in the Bible attributed to St. Luke. The first, of course, is the Gospel according to Luke which is a narration of the life of Jesus from infancy to his ascension to heaven. The second book whose authorship is attributed to St. Luke is the Acts of the Apostles, which is about the life of the early church after Jesus ascended to heaven. It is like a sequel to the Gospel according to St. Luke. And because of these two books in the Bible that he wrote, he is an evangelist. He is a writer of the Gospel and about the life of the Church. But St. Luke was not just an evangelist. He was also a missionary. He did not only do mission by sitting down and by writing, he was also actively engaged in mission. He went from place to place in order to proclaim the words and the teachings of Jesus. In our first reading today, St. Paul himself said, that Luke was his companion. So St. Luke probably accompanied St. Paul in many of his missionary journeys. And that is also the reason why our Gospel chosen on the Feast of St. Luke is about doing mission. Jesus sends his disciples in order to do mission. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, on this feast of the evangelist and the missionary St. Luke, it is good to remember the importance of doing mission work. And what is mission? Mission is simply doing what God wants us to do. Mission is going to far-flung areas, to countries abroad in order to proclaim the gospel of Jesus. But mission is also staying at home, working faithfully in our offices and workplaces, and witnessing to our Christian faith. Mission is doing great works for God and for His Church. But mission could also be as simple as doing something good for another person. We are all involved in mission. 
because there are things that God wants us to do in order to proclaim His love and mercy to all. When Jesus sent His disciples to mission, He asked them not to bring anything. By giving this instruction, Jesus is telling them not to be concerned about many things. Their focus should only be mission. Their preoccupation should only be doing God's work, nothing else. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, that last week, we received our new appointments as priests in the Archdiocese of Manila. And so we will be transferring assignments next month. And many people seem to analyze the appointments. Some would say, Oh, si Father Ganito, from a small parish to a big parish, promoted si Father. Or itong paring ito, from a big parish to a small church, nako, na-demote si Father. Na si Father, malaki ang simbahan na magiging monsignor yan. O magiging obispo na yan. But you know, my dear brothers and sisters, the words promotion and demotion do not belong to the, vo to the vocabulary of a missionary. Titles and positions are not his concerns. For a missionary, accomplishing what God wants him to do is all that matters. Kahit saan ka ipadala, kahit saan ka isugo, ang mahalaga gawin ang misyon, gawin ang ipinagagawa sa iyo ng Panginoon. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the intercession of St. Luke that all of us may be faithful missionaries of Jesus, bringing God's love, God's mercy to all. Please all stand. Loyal friend and companion of St. Saint Paul, Luke gave us a gospel rich in stories. Let us pray to the Father through the loving Savior revealed in Luke's gospel. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may awaken within her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may guide those in the medical profession and those who assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may actively participate in the missionary activity of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive support and consolation from family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may share in the joy of the company in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers. We pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, with the prayer of St. Luke, we bring our needs before you. Grant them for the sake of your Son, the loving Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant through your heavenly gifts that we may serve you in freedom of heart, we pray, O Lord, so that the offerings we make on the feast day of St. Luke may bring us healing and give us glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Luke and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Luke proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>